I said, well, why don't you just go down and get it? So they order. Without thinking that they put a cousin out of work, right? If they, the, the, the Negro has got Negroes down there at the Macy's and everywhere else, right? At least 30, 40% of them is Negroes. Why, if they order offline and the way them things is like worse than being in the military, they got a camera on you? Military. Slavery. Slavery. It's some. I said, they working, and then you can't take no breather. You can't say, oh, whew. This is, look, talk about old time slavery. If the boss wasn't looking, at least you could lean on the hole a little bit. And if he had you doing a certain job, you could go hide under a tree or something like that. And then the people are hollering, here come boss man. And then you can, you can get back to work. But you can't do that now. They got a camera on you. Look. This is cruel. I was, um, there was, there was uh, some news I was reading about Amazon. One of the things we know about a lot of these tech companies is on, on all of their boards, you have a former stoop. Now, at Amazon, um, they were getting blasted because they were using a lot of uh, surveillance and, and spyware in order to monitor employees in order to subvert strikes and mm-hmm. employees. Right. And everything. So, you know, you might be complaining with your, uh, with another uh, co worker. Uh, co worker, yeah. That word will get back. You know, they have spies deployed amongst the employees to, to you know, sniff out rebellion and everything. They do this on those guys. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, now, it's just high tech now. They always been had snitches and everything. I, I watched uh, Chicago 7, and you technically would have been. I watched it last night. I said, well, let me watch it. So I enjoyed it. It was about the trial, you know, in Chicago in 68 or something. Same year Fred Hampton got killed. They had that on the movie. And they had uh, Bobby Seale. This is the only trial in America, I believe, where the person on trial was gagged and bound. Yeah, it really happened in an American courtroom. I mean, you can be gagged and bound, but you, it don't look like it. You got a public defender and all that, so you might as well be just handcuffed. And uh, they had Ramsey Clark, they got him to testify, but the court didn't hear it, the jury didn't hear it. So Ramsey Clark said, yeah, uh, uh, the Nixon administration was in then, he said, we investigated this and we found out that the Chicago Police Department started all of these riots. And then they showed all the people, uh, this lady uh, was a police uh, FBI agent, the other police was a Chicago policeman, you know. And every one of them had incited this stuff to happen. And they had all them guys, Jerry Rubin and them and all of them, whatever they was. And uh, actually they lost the case, but then they won it again later on. The point is, is that sabotage, infiltration have been a part of government policies since the time of the ancient kings. Uh, But now it's just that human aspect, but also high-tech technology. Uh-huh. Yeah. Acceptable and exciting. Because you don't see the police as bad people. And when you go to the, the, the police, they're, they're killing everybody, but it's for all a, a good reason. And even you wind up putting up with the bad, what they call bad cops. But they be shooting, (laughs) anyway, the point is, uh, I'm not even getting to half of what we wanna say and I'm gonna move toward a close. But a few things I wanna mention. Uh, uh, This month, the 25th of December, 
we're going to have a program on climate change. In fact, uh, Sakina is going to talk, my daughter, because she actually takes us. This is what she studies at the university. And then I'll have a short talk myself. That'll be enough. And, and we'll talk a little bit about, yeah. There's something to think about. I tell you what, we're going to write, uh, I'm going to ask you to, to type up a, a, a little flyer where it's only about 20 copies. We're not going to, one of our flyers. Uh, Thursday is the 24th, right? That's Christmas Eve. Friday. Yeah, let's do it on the 24th. Okay. Let's do it on the 24th because, uh, uh, f huh? We'll do, it, we'll do it on the 24th. I'm glad you reminded me. I was looking on the calendar and I thought Thursday was the 24th. No, I thought so too. It was the 25th. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do it on Thursday. Okay. We'll do it on Thursday, and, and that'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. But it'll be a reasonable talk, and then we'll talk about uh, our next uh, 2021, kind of an outline for 2021. Now, you got to realize that 2020 just for, for the heck of it, think about how accurate we was on 2020. You know, for 2020 vision and all of that. It's not only for us, for everybody, 2020 has been serious. Okay. I like one thing that Bill Clinton, I was listening to one of his talks on leadership the other day, and he said, just because you're paranoid, don't mean they're not out to get you, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you can imagine his life and the Republicans and his impeachment and uh, what was it, Whitewater, and plus they thieves anyway, you know, Hillary and them, they, they, so, and he got, they didn't even bring up Foster, remember Foster? He popped up dead because he might have been messing with Hillary. So, oh, oh, the old president, uh, he might have didn't mind messing with other white folk, white women, but he didn't, and black ones too, whatever he could get his hands on. But he didn't uh, want nobody messing with Hillary. And to this day, no, to this day, you know what Hillary looked like then and what she was shaped. I don't know why or why what he found and. One thing about Bill, he was an equal opportunity fornicator. Did you see them women he used to mess with? They had noses. They was from Arkansas too. Boy, them was ridge running white girls. I'm telling you, they was, you know how they hair used to look back in the 90s. Uh, I said, now Hillary, not that we paid no attention, but Hillary was actually shapely and fair to look at. And I said, what does he see? Jennifer Flowers, what was all the white? I said, good God Almighty, they'd show him on TV. I said, what was wrong with the one he had at the White House? You know, what was wrong with her? But I guess she was too smart for him. You know, like if, if a woman dominates you like you, you don't feel manly toward her, you know, and she might be calling you stupid and everything like that. You know, he might have felt smart, but everybody else was stupid at home. I get a feeling that's what it was. No, it was something like that because uh, he couldn't find nobody no more standard. Uh, anyway, that's his business. 
Now she didn't turn mean. She was a, a nice hypocrite. She wrote books on takes of a, a village. You know what I mean? She was a nice hypocrite. You know. Who was that? Oh my goodness. The 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 the, the lady that what they used to I think she was the last one talking about she was a Holocaust survivor or something like that. Or her parents was. Something like that. Yeah, I think she yeah, them are, well that's the way it go. Okay. Uh combined historical knowledge. We'll talk about that later. Challenge and adversity equal opportunity. You know, we want to continue that line. That the stuff that we, it's a challenge in its adversity. But one thing I like about the translation, Muhammad Assad, he uses that word adversity over and over again. And adversity for us means opportunity. Nobody else would want our job. It seems kind of strange that nobody would want our job, none of the Negroes, nobody would want our job. That's fine. Uh, we like it. We'll take it, you know. Uh, we will pass up on Afghanistan, Iraq, Soleimani, Arab Spring. Uh, now, you got to remember the accuracy on all of these subjects that we're talking about. Libya, Yemen, Syria. Okay. Uh, leading through adversity. That should be enough for today. And we'll close with encirclement and suppression is a constant theme of history. Oppressor and the oppressed. We would have been classified some decades ago as the oppressed. But we're not oppressed. We have, we have to deal with uh, things on a daily basis. But we're not the oppressed. We're not the oppressed anymore because we have a certain amount of influence on our own history. And the longer we live, the more influence we're, we're gaining. So we are giving boss man the blues. And inshallah, we'll keep that up. Akula kali hada wa lali wa Do we have any questions or comments? What it means, well, first of all, when we use ethnic, what they call ethnic terms, we have said hundreds of times before that uh, we want to help rescue those people from whether it's the coronavirus, whether it's opiates and all of that. So we're clear on that. Uh, if we use the term sometime like cracker, white folks, well, Technically, from my generation, I don't know what to call people. If they're white, I don't know what to call them other than white folks. Okay. And then, uh, I don't think there's any more, any group in America, no more homogenized in attitude than ours. Homogenized in attitude that we work in our neighborhood, we're here, but we don't limit ourselves to thinking about, if just listen to any of our lectures, the whole world, we're part of the world community. And we don't like to see suffering and slavery nowhere. That's why 
We'll talk about Palestine today. Uh, we'll talk about Chechnya tomorrow. Uh, or in all in the same lecture. So I don't know what the person is talking about, but there's no bar for us. We don't have any uh, 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 ethnic hatred because all the people are part of God's creation and uh, they didn't make themselves Mexican or white. They had nothing to do with it, right? So they, uh, we can't blame people for anything that they didn't have nothing, have nothing to do with. We can't get a, a certificate uh, from creation saying we was made special because we was black, right? Or they, was, they ain't no good because they is white. We don't do that. So I don't know what the person means, but I'd like to just clarify that we are solidly in the humane camp as far as humanity as a whole is concerned. Was there anything else? <laughs> no, that the humanity. No, we living in a serious time, man. It's like, can you imagine? They just got the, the, I was watching TV today, they just got the global something or they had old Al Gore on and they got all this climate stuff, the program we have, man, they, they, they realizing that we ain't got but three, four more weeks left around here. And that if we keep going within one or two years, the uh, momentum of decline will catch in nature. And the way you destroy one system after another, hey man, now for me, uh, I don't like that. It's like, I didn't like that when they used to have uh, everybody get a, a, a shelter, a bomb shelter. When we was kids, they'd have uh, go run in the bomb shelter. And our life seemed like they was in Russia's hands or the U.S.'s hands, right? And then they would show on the damn TV what a bomb would do. And then they'd tell niggas to get under their desk. Can you imagine? Uh, duck and cover. It was ridiculous. It was, wait a minute. The thing, if it's 10 miles away, it's going to burn all of that. They're going to have a 100 megaton bomb, has a fireball 10 miles wide. 10 megaton, 50 megatons, the fireball is 5 miles. Well, if you one inch from the fire, you're going to burn up. If you're a foot from the fire, you're gonna burn up. That means if you, if the fireball is over here, if you 20 miles away, you're gonna be zapped. I mean, what do they have it when you just go oh, Vaporize. The people in Japan with them little bombs was vaporized. Hey man. That used to be a little scary. So we got over there. I say I ain't letting them white folks scare me. If they want to blow, you got mad, mutual assured destruction, then you kill everybody. We get zapped and it won't take but two seconds. We be just, whoop. Here we are laughing and talking and boom, we ain't no more. So, but then with this climate thing, it's kind of creeping back. It's not a fear, it's a discomfort with them having the power, and we can't do nothing unless we get really organized and they got things to keep you from getting organized, right? And they're only doing it for their own pockets. They're not really doing it to save humanity. They're doing it to make sure they have control, like you talked about, with the situation. So the same goes and everybody else. These white folks are so mean that 
if they can get the earth back to 